Hi, I'm uh, Victor Echo 3, Echo Foxtrot Quebec, and this is the radar challenge, the rapid deployment of an amateur radio station, and we're going to set up here in our first location, and I'll show you all the equipment that I'm carrying at the moment for my station. All right, let's go through the contents of the station. 12 meter telescoping pole for vertical and for dipole antennas when there's no tree. Some warm clothes for sitting about. Tiny tripod. This is for mounting a super antenna, which I have all of the parts here. Base plate will mount to the tripod and the antenna will go up. There are other parts for the super antenna and this is the fastest antenna that I can deploy and later on I'll actually be able to walk with it already assembled. But not the most efficient antenna so we need to have more antennas and this is the antenna bag. Let's go through the contents. We have super antenna, we have a 20 40 80 dipole with traps for the dipole for instantaneous switching and there's also a two meter section on this dipole for two meters this is a feed point that i can attach any piece of wire to to make an antenna this is a 20 meter vertical antenna this spool of wire attaches to the wire for the 20 meter with links to extend it into a full size 40 meter. We have pieces of coax. I like to have at least two with a patch cable for the antenna switch so I can have two antennas up at the same time. Rope for suspending antennas. This is a long wire antenna cut for 80 meters. This is a grounding rod to ground the station. Lithium iron phosphate battery. Then we have a slingshot with some fishing line for putting the rope in the tree to uh, hang an antenna. Well, let's go through the rest of the equipment that we need for a day out in the field. Some water, cooking supplies with the stove, fuel, 12 by 15 foot tarp to make a shelter. Since it's November and cold, we have a forest blanket keeping warm while using the station. And this is a seat, insulated seat for sitting on the ground. And finally, a ground sheet to put onto the ground. Now uh, what we need to do is quickly get the station up and running. Victor Echo 3, Echo Foxtrot, Quebec. Echo 3, Echo Foxtrot, Quebec, go ahead. Is 1623. Call sign Whiskey 8. Grid square. Where did he say that was? EM eight two J V. This is PSK thirty one super antenna on max power. Okay. P three Echo Fox Queen uh, for a short one. They're beaming away from you. Uh, good afternoon from the island of Newfoundland. Uh, VK, uh, operator name is Dean, Delta Echo, Alpha, Nancy, I'll copy, sir.
So we packed up camp faster than we made five contacts with the super antenna. What we want to do is move down the path one kilometer and uh, maybe cut off in the woods and put up a different antenna and then see if we get more contact quickly. But it took us a long time to get five contacts. We are at, uh, we have two hours and 28 minutes left. Okay. Let's go. On contact ratio. The amount of time it takes to set it up versus the amount of time it takes to get five contacts. So if you have an antenna that takes two minutes to set up, it's two hours to get five contacts. Do the math. Maybe you have an antenna that takes six minutes to put up and 20 minutes to get five contacts. The contest is between the two should be obvious. There. We need to be going this way. We we'll probably walk in one way. We go off that tree. I'm in five watts when I came back to uh, you. I'm over at a uh, XYL's place. She just got her. Uh, her amateur radio license and I'm showing her how to run a radio. Yeah, Roger, uh, this is Paul in Owen Sound and I'm participating in something called a radar challenge, over. QSL, uh, tell us what a radar challenge is. I must uh, set up my portable station portable radio station and make five contacts and then I must move the station every five contacts over. Well that sounds like a lot of work. Yes sir I just uh, walked a kilometer and set up the station and you're my first contact so I'd like to say thank you for answering me over. Okay if you want another contact I'll hand you another person here might be cheating a bit. EVY. Victor Echo 3, Echo Victor Yankee, go ahead. Hi, uh, this is Evelyn from Bala as well. Uh, you have a 5 9 signal here in, from Owen Sound. Do you know where Owen Sound is? Somewhat. How's the weather there, over? How much power do you have? Over. Hundred watts. Uh, Roger. I have about uh, forty-five watts uh, portable station just set up in the forest. You're quite clear. Well, that's what I like to hear. Anyway, I must uh, get four more contacts and then carry my radio station another kilometer in the forest. So I better say seven three. Ve three evy. Roger, uh, Victor Echo 3, uh, Echo Victor Yankee, Victor Echo 3, Echo Foxtrot, Quebec clear. Victor Echo 3, Lima Whiskey Whiskey. Victor Echo 3, Lima Whiskey Whiskey, Victor Echo 3, Echo Foxtrot, Quebec. Victor Echo 3, uh, Lima Foxtrot, Quebec, V3LWW, top of the evening. Just wanted to let you know I can hear you up here in Markham. In Markham, Ontario, they're over. Uh, CQ Radar Challenge, CQ Radar Challenge, this is Victor Echo 3, Echo Foxtrot, Quebec. I was wondering if anyone can hear my uh, station, over. Victor Echo 3, Sierra Juliet, in Oshawa. Yeah, Roger, I copy Victor Echo 3, Sierra Juliet, in uh, Oshawa. This is uh, Paul in Owen Sound, and uh, you have a nice 5-9 signal here, over.
So the camp is packed up and we're ready to move to the next spot for the third section. And the second section with the full-size dipole, we managed to get five contacts in less than 45 minutes. And that's including the setup time for the dipole. Whereas with the super antenna, we struggled to get five contacts in uh, about two hours. Uh, so I don't think I'll set the super antenna up anymore. Okay, let's move. another 100 meters to that other cliff spot. Let's just go there. Need to get another bolt, yeah. You say we should just put this on the pole, right? Now, you see that green bag there? Okay, I believe we got it now. Victor Echo 3, uh, Echo Foxtrot, Quebec. QSL, QSL, this is Paul, Paul in Owen Sound, Ontario. Wow, Ontario, that's, that's tremendous, that's great. Well, we're here 60 miles west of Houston in San Felipe de, de Austin, uh, Stephen F. Austin State Park. Ah, parks on the air. I'm a portable station two out in the forest taking part in the radar challenge. Over. Oh, wow. Mobile station out in the forest, huh? Yeah, we just backpacked. Uh, every five contacts, we need to move our station uh, one kilometer, so this is the third time I've moved it today. Wow, that's pretty, pretty cool. That's fun to hear. Well, you're coming in really pretty good, all considering. That's give you probably five seven. And uh, anyway, I appreciate the contact. 73, W5SSA, Stephen F. Austin Special Event Station, QRZ. So our station is very mobile, easy to move, and uh, obviously we can set up in a great many different places. But it's certainly the case that if we want to be effective, we need to have an uncompromised full-size antenna. That's the uh, only way that we're going to get uh, a consistent amount of good contacts. And it also improves our reception of the weakest signals. 
uh, that we can hear as well. So if we're also trying to contact a low power portable station, we definitely need to have big antennas for that, I think. And I'm not quite sure if um, it's even that much faster to even set up a compromised antenna. If, we're, if we carefully choose our location, uh, we can even get uh, full-size wires up. There's uh, 30 feet of wire hanging off the edge of this cliff, uh, which didn't take too long. And if anyone is wondering why we threw the wire off the edge of the cliff, you need to uh, take a look at uh, Moxon's book, HF Antennas for All Occasions, Chapter 10. He has a specific uh, suggestion to find cl cliffs and, and shapes, uh, odd shapes in the land to put the antenna and take advantage of uh, reflections and Fresnel zones and so on. Uh, anyway, we have to pack up. See you later.